In this video we'll introduce you to the tools in Scorecloud for expanding your score, specifically adding new parts and voices. This can be done by either playing or writing. Let's start with how to add new voices and parts by playing. When the first layer is there, you can simply use the overdub tool to record voices, one or several at the same time. You'll get a two bar count in. The new voice will be added in a separate part. Use the Actions window to choose if you want separate voices or a piano stuff. This way it's easy to keep adding voices, as many as you like. If you want your overdub recording to be interpreted into an already existing part, for example if you want to expand the piano stuff, just select the part before clicking overdub. This is done by clicking to the left of the stuff. You can handle voices after they've been created with the Voices and Mixer tool. You can for example split all voices to separate parts with the Split Staff button. Watch the Voice Mixer tutorial to learn more. An alternative to playing is of course writing a new part. Use the Add More tool to create an empty stuff. The quickest way is to use the Beat by Beat input. When you click in the stuff, a red frame will be revealed. This marks a selected beat, in this example the first beat. This can also be done in the manual input tool. Play the new voice on your MIDI device, one beat at a time, in free tempo, like this. This method is also a very effective way of replacing music in selected beats. For example, correcting a voice after you have improvised a new voice using the overdub tool. Use shift and the arrow keys to extend your selection. Choose to create a new voice within the same part in this drop-down menu. When you're in the manual input tool, you can also create a new voice simply by click-dragging notes from the palette to the right position in the staff. Learn more about these features by watching the manual input tutorial. A very quick way of replacing music is to record the replacement using the replace tool. Mark your selection by click dragging over the score, choose voices to replace in the mixer, then press replace. The previous two bars are then played back to you, so you'll know when to start playing your replacement. Finish by choosing sounds in the mixer, adding the info for your parts, names, transposed instruments and so on. and adding chords, lyrics or maybe dynamics.